What's happening, La Familia? It's your brother, King K.O., back in this thing with another one, man. And we got a crazy one, man. Something that I personally, man. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go ahead and get around to our rounds first. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell icon, turn post notifications on to all. Do that for your family, man. Join the family, man. Be a part of this movement, man, because I tell y'all, ain't nobody delivering content the way that we doing it, man. Now, we got some huge news coming by way of the situation we talked about yesterday with Herman Cowboy. Y'all already know Mr. Thundercat, Nipsey Hussle, big homie, calling out that man Brick, baby, and Nina Boy, Spider Loke, WAC 100, and saying that the game was socked down that man spider low y'all can go check that out that's the upload before last y'all know it's the one with cowboy on it go check it out but on the cool we got some huge news coming back as of about 30 minutes ago from that man brick baby as brick baby is up for the challenge showing that he gonna stand on all 10 and shows that he really a six finger banker he letting it be known that he a man and he ready to go ahead and hit the fisty cups, duke it out, or whatever cowboy want to do, you know? They can conversate about it like men, come to an understanding, or they can go from the shoulders, you know what I'm saying? But that man, Brick Baby, let it be known, he is going to be in the NH, he gonna be on West Boulevard, and he gonna be waiting for Herman, Cowboy, Thundercat, to come out there and scratch. And I'm gonna tell y'all before I show y'all this clip, I am most definitely proud to see Brick Baby respond to this. This is something that needs to go viral. This needs to go viral. When it happens, this situation needs to be seen by the world. Everybody, all the young men, we need to come back to throwing from the shoulders. We got an issue. Let's go from the shoulders. You got homies out here taking out homies. You got everything going on. It don't matter family taking out family man it's ugly nowadays man but this is at least a public showing of the way that men are supposed to conduct themselves i've been seeing y'all down in the comment section talking about these grown men out here trying to go from the shoulders y'all grown men that's what grown that's what men are supposed to do that's our nature that's how we get an understanding with each other you understand that, that's it it's simple simple as that but y'all go ahead and check this out Response from Brick Baby. Hey, uh, black boy, want to put the money Top of the money, guy. I'm sitting up there, broke as a Take that with the man said. The boy broke. Dead homies, man. man that's some little dog shit too, Bubba. Dummies. Say, don't be in the set. Shoe Millennium today, my guy. Hold on. Hey, hey. Dude, we, boy, my boy said, come to shoot Millennium in the day, gang. We, 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 we gonna be in the hood on West B. On the hood. Any old that pull up on West B, we spanking that the raw way. We gonna spank that's the raw way. You wanna fade today? Come on, West B. For me. On the hood, bro. Smoker. Who they big homie is? Who is your big homie? Matter of fact, just tell me what year Cuz got put on. Did you drop it? No, I don't go like that. You feel me? You ain't never Thunderdome, got put on the hood, official got courted on. You ain't from over here. You feel me? Ain't no walk on. Oh, I grew up over there. Oh, it is. Oh, my cousin from over there. Nah, nah, I don't work like that. I don't work like that, bro. Man, it ain't gonna drop no Addy. Gonna drop nothing. But I hear you though. I hear you, big homie. Well, number one, these are these. It ain't about me having a problem with WAC 100 like that. Number one, these claiming NH. They claiming neighborhood, and then that's another ball game. All right. So whatever, whatever I got with whack or whatever going on, they ain't got nothing to do with these neighborhood that's talking that shit. It's easy for them to pull up. That's what I'm talking about. These is claiming neighborhood, but they ain't never outside. The whack, at least he outside. So, yeah, imagine that. So these 
is, is OG neighborhoods, but uh, and they talking about cowboy, but they ain't outside to pull up. Yeah. So before I get to handling beasts with other hoods, I'm going to smash them that, that's uh, claiming my hood. Before I get to smashing on somebody that's beefing uh, from some other hood they got to say about cowboy. Okay, let's address the issues right here in my backyard first. Yeah, let me address these two busters in my backyard right now. Two or three busters that's claiming that they neighborhoods that's talking. Let me address them busters first. Then I can wake my, work my way down the line and deal with the wax and all these other mother. But right now, I got right here that's claiming that they neighborhoods that's claiming that they 60s and you got something to say about me don't knock it off fool <laughs> out here enjoying life and i'm gonna enjoy beating the brakes off one you too Hopefully that man Cowboy get what he asked for, man. You know what I'm saying? As far as his fade and whatnot, he said he wanted it. Brick Baby said that he down. He ready to do that. They can go ahead and throw the 50 cups. He ain't got no issue with it. So that's a lovely thing, family. You know what I'm saying? As far as, you know, for the culture and also, you know, for the hood in itself. But I say more importantly for the culture, man, because we're not seeing. Brick Baby's a rapper, first off. We're not really seeing these rappers go out and catch fades. You know what I'm saying? We ain't seeing none of these rappers doing stuff like that. We ain't seeing, you know, dudes who talk down on somebody else online have to actually own up to them words like that. And that's the reason why you're seeing so many trolls popping out on the internet talking crazy because trolls don't understand the consequences. And once again, let me say this. This is not me instigating any situation. I just screen recorded what these two men are seeing and I posted it. So don't get down in the comment section, trolls, unless y'all ready to do some fisty cup. All right, because I'm telling you, I want my fade with all the trolls too. Nah, I'm just playing, man. Y'all keep doing y'all. I ain't doing no tripping. But uh, then again, man, you know, hey, y'all already know. <laughs> I'm just saying. This is a good thing, though, man. And one thing that I say for sure, man, is Herman Cowboy, man, that man Thundercat, he always outside. Y'all see this video right here on the right, the little cars and whatnot. That's him at a car show. But how many dudes was talking down on this man and saying, ever since he got on the stand for Nymph, he can't come back outside. He can't do this. He can't do that. Well, the man's still outside. You know what I'm saying? And like, honestly, man, like I told y'all before, I feel like, cowboy was pressured into getting on the stand by the world and also the fact that that was his little homie did you see all the videos that was being put up talking down on this man's name trying to accuse him of being behind the situation with uh you know who eric holder and also you know uh the fact that somebody needed to address brick baby brick baby was doing too much in those interviews you know what i'm saying speaking on the fact that you know he associated with eric holder i know that show tiny homie but the thing is bro it's like he did too much and there's too many feelings going on too much emotion right now with everybody grieving the loss of nipsey hustle it's not the time to say that that was your partner it's not the time to give him his props and say oh yeah he a real stepper he a real one it ain't the time to say that right now everybody feel like he a weirdo but 10 15 years from now that's when you start to tell like oh yeah that was my partner Oh, yeah, you know, he was a real one. Oh, yeah, you know, he did what he was supposed to do. The same thing that happened in the Tupac situation where all that stuff came out 10, 15 years later. And now everybody's OK with it because, hey, in the end, Tupac got the, the respect that he deserves, as well as, you know, his music still being timeless. So people was like, OK, we ain't really doing no tripping. Let's see what happened on the flip side. That's when you, you, you got to give it some time, bro. And hopefully you're telling the truth about how you feel. Now, I did catch you say, we, we, we. And I seen you call your partner in there. Now, hopefully it's a situation where you ain't talking about racking the man or you ain't talking about one of your homies getting down for you. Hopefully it's you getting out there going from the shoulders with this man. Because, hey, 
he is offended by the words that you allow to come out your mouth. So you got to stand up for that, man. Hopefully that's what you mean by that. And if that's what you mean by that, break baby, salute to you. Much respect to you. You know, that shows that you're a real one and the things that you are saying as far as being a real one and being willing to get down in these interviews and on these records, that shows that, you know, you telling the truth. You ain't putting out no rap cap. So hopefully that's what we see. And like he said, he'll be on West Boulevard today. And a uh, cowboy told him to meet at the shoe store. So, you know, they ain't too far away from each other. And they can go ahead and, and get that scrap session in, man. They can go ahead and squabble up, man, and get this out the way. Because like Cowboy said, man, after this, we can shake hands, be cool, be friends. You know, we hood homies, leave it all alone. Now, it seems like Brick Baby ain't really willing to do all that. But I would say this. What's best for your brand is to go ahead and leave that alone. And at least to the public eye, make it seem like y'all came to a mutual understanding. And that there's still respect there. At the end of the day, Brick Baby, that's still your elder. That's still one of your older homies. You know, and even if he wasn't your older homie, he still is an older man. An older black man. Somebody who is supposed to be an example for you. And maybe he might not be the best example. One thing I know, and two for sure, is that all your elders deserve to be respected. And that's why I want to say this as well. Normally, I wouldn't advocate for a young man to scrap with an older gentleman. But at the end of the day, man, Cowboy asked for that. He pressed the issue on that. He disrespected that man. So, hey, you got to look at that. And Cowboy, man, he don't get it twisted. He a penitentiary old school. So, he's still preserved like he hey i seen a lot of them old men in prison man really out there knocking them youngins out they ain't lost a step when it comes to the fisty cups man so don't get that twisted but like i said man all your elders deserve to be respected so show that man some respect afterwards man it don't matter you know uh what they've done or what influence they've did they still deserve to be respected man so at the very least man that's something that will be major for your brain. You feel me? But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this down in the comment section. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell icon. Turn post notifications on all. And shout out to both of these two gentlemen. Let's see if we'll see a response coming by way of that man Wack 100 or Spider Lope or that man Nina Boy. Y'all stay in tune because I will keep y'all updated. And with that being said, I'm out. Believe it.